Hey folks, today we're gonna create a TV transition like this. It looks simple, but don't be sure. Let's import the video into timeline. Don't change the frame rate. Cut the sound. And right click on the video, name Fusion Clip, then go to Fusion tab. First of all, I will create a rectangle and the background, then connect it and create a new merge like this. I will turn the color white and change the opacity. That looks cool. Increase the height and rotate a little bit and change the position. Cool. But there is a problem with this. It's not going anymore. So we have to change the resolution of the background. Uncheck the auto resolution and increase these fields. Now that's the what we want, okay? And the second thing is creating a text. I will type here, hey, change font with thicker and I will connect here by creating a new merge. So that's it. I will increase the size a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more, more. that's cool. And in this point, we have to mask text into the background, I mean the menu one. So we have to duplicate this background by shift space and type duplicate here, like this. Now disconnect it and create another connection into the duplicate by yellow and mask the task here. Now if we change the size, we can see it masked. But there's a problem here. We can see the background. To solve this problem, create another mask into merge. Now we can see the background, okay? But in the TV transition, this white background this looks blurry. So we're gonna do this by shift space, type blur here, and add a blur. Holding the shift, move that here, it's connected here. So, increase the blur, that's it. Then create a mask from background to blur. Now, the only white area is blurry. That's it. Now we can animate it. If you hit the Shift 9 in Windows, we can see our frame rate is 24. That means, if you go to 24, this is one second. So, in the first second, my duplicate will look like this. Okay, it and go to zero and another okay here. So at the 10 background we'll at the zero and then in the 36 sorry it will be four. And go to Subline, select the rectangle and the duplicate. Let's see the splines. Select all splines and hit the F and the T. It will be go fast like this. And then it will be get slow. Okay, that's all, and now we can export it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and more freebies. See you in the next video.